Hello everybody, welcome to episode 7, and man, we are getting close to the end of chapter 1, wow, well, I'm excited for it, so you guys see what happens, but we, I'll do a uh, quick uh, previous type thing of what happened in the last episode, so last episode, from what I can remember, um, we... The main characters got David and Daniel and Arthur and Charles and no Charles but Arthur and Becca, um, Gabriel and what's his name again Matt. They all got captured by Wicked and then they escaped and then um, Daniel Arthur no sorry Daniel David um, Matt and Gabriel were stuck in the house getting surrounded by zombies uh, not zombie cranks I mean. And Rebecca, and Rebecca and Arthur were stuck in a room because um, they was being held held by uh, Jack. So that's hope you guys are now caught up, and we'll get into episode seven. Let's go. So episode seven, it starts off with the um, forming the four characters: David, Daniel, Matt, and Gabriel. They was there, surrounded by the, the whole of walkers. Zombies, I mean cranks. I mean, and the council found us. And Daniel, Daniel said, "We can't sh shoot our way out." They said, "We won't, we won't be able to make 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 it through one of them." And then Matt said, "Well, we could maybe climb up there and then shoot, and then go for one first." Gabe said, "Maybe we could maybe uh, oh break one of the doors and stab them as they try to come in." And I was like, "Okay, best thing." David said, best thing to do now is to stay quiet and make sure they don't know we're here. Okay, everyone hide somewhere. Wait, wait for as long as we can. Okay? But they all said, yeah, okay. And then it skips over to um, Beck and Arthur. Jack walks in and Jack says, well, now, I'm not going to kill you two, but someone is going to die today. Now, I'm going to use you two as bait. So, Rebecca, Arthur, you two, uh, come with me, okay? And you guys don't have a choice, and if you try to resist, I will kill one of you. Now, Arthur was my original plan to kill someone, but I feel like betrayal from Matt, Matt and Gabriel is more, so I'll kill one, one, one of them too. Just let, let, just let them know that I am not someone to mess with. So you two get comfortable being here for some time, because you're not going to be here for much longer. Then Jack walked out. Jack says, we need a squad going around to, that ha to, to the house, kill the cranks, get, the, get, get them out of there. He said, yeah, okay. He said, go ahead, take, get get the squad. So they all ran to the outside of the house, and so I shoot, shoot some of the cranks. They were, David said, what the hell? The Rick is helping us? Daniel said, they're not. They're planning playing against us. I know they are. And Matt and Gabriel said, let's, let's go over away quickly before most of the time. And so then uh, Matt and Gabriel kicked down the door. And David, Daniel, Matt and Gabriel were all shooting at the cranks. And they ran through the hall of cranks to get shooting them. And then they got to the other side and they kept running. Wicked said, Wicked, one of the people as Wicked said, they're getting away. Shoot them. And then the red governor, the final governor, said, it's okay guys, I'll get them. He jumped down, shot all the cranks and ran after them. So they found a car. We went to get into the car, and then bing or zing, whatever you you know the, the laser. A laser shot at the car. Car went flying. They looked over. They saw the red governor. They had first gun. Red governor says, "Listen, that was just a, that was just a distraction. Guys need help. Follow me." And then David said, "What?" And the red governor said, "You think I'm working with Wicked? I know. I'm just going to keep myself myself alive. I don't know who's going to win this fight, and I don't know some of you guys." Better, better be on the winning team. And Daniel said, "Small play." And Red Governor says, "Follow me. I know, I know, I know where to go." The Red Governor ran, and they got to a little house. So they was running, and they found a little house. So I sat down there, and then uh, Matt, Matt and Gabriel um, were there outside. You know, we keep and watch. And then David um, told Daniel, "Daniel, are you sure we should keep this down here? I'm sure you're safe." And he said, yeah, I think he's fine. I'll ask him. Then Daniel went up to the red governor and says, how can we trust you, huh? And he said, 
You can't really, but I'm the best chance of survival right now, so go to police with me. And besides, I can let you guys know anything. They only said, What do you know about Wicked? The insides of Wicked, what do you know? Him. I know there's gonna be an escape pod plan if anything happens. Need the outer decks. There's gonna be an escape pod there. If we get there, we can sort of stop him escape him. And then he said, Why do they mean escape pod? I said, They know you guys, and they know that you guys can get an army against them. So they're making him careful. Then he said, They said, Have you seen Charles? And then the other one says, How do you know Charles? Danny said, Well, he hasn't been here for a while, and to, I, I I can, you know, pull the connections together basically. Red Gummer says, Yeah, Danny, Charles is there, in Wicked. And Danny says, No, okay, stay there, I want to talk to, I want to, talk to David. Danny said, David. Danny said, David. They said, David said, What? Danny said, Charles is working with Wicked now. They said, I knew it. I knew that guy would do that. I knew I can trust him. And he said, "We're going into. We're going in. We're gonna. We're gonna get into Wicked. We're gonna end this once and for to the end, basically. Nothing stop us." Martin. Martin gave us it. Guys, uh, they're getting close up. We should probably get going. And the Red Goblin said, "Yeah." Then the Red Goblin is walkie walkie talking with off. And it was Jack. Jack said, Well, well, well. <coughs> Red Governor. So you, went, so you went with them. Good to know. Let David and Daniel know that I have Beck and Arthur. And if they wish to see them to alive, they're going to come to me. I'm at that house where they were before. Outside of it. Tell them to come to me. And if they don't, I will kill Arthur and Becca right now. Gary said, this is gonna be a trap, we know this. Matt says, Yeah, but we can't just leave them there to die. This is we have to go. All of us. Now he says, The guy says, Why all, 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 all of us have to go? They said, Because the more gunpowder power we have, we can try to defend ourselves against the entire army. It's not safe for us all to go. <coughs> and then they said, Then who should go? He said, Hmm. Okay then. Let's get Gabriel. And Daniel. They said that could work. They said anything happens, there'll be one. They said, "Yeah, I'm with you." So they all. Then Daniel and Gabriel went out. So I walk in. Daniel said, "So Gabriel, um, how long had you work with Wicked work, work for?" He said, "For about a year or two. Uh, pretty well trained with uh me and Matt. <coughs> me and Matt were good trainers. <laughs> Matt was always get so angry, easy." The only thing that people, people used to call him Matt the Anger. It was a stupid name, but it was fun, I guess. And I used to call him out every single day, Matt the Anger, back at it again. Uh, me and Matt hadn't had known each other for a long time. Uh, me and Matt, oh, we, all each other had really. Well, yeah, I guess so. And like, oh, now we have you guys then. And he said, yeah, yeah, you do. I said, you know, we, one of us, you know, anyone, anyone would die. He said, yeah, I know. But uh, I would, I would, I would, I would lay down my line. I would lay, lay, lay down my life, you know, for people I like and people I trust, then people I don't like or trust. Yeah. That was all Kim. Then he goes back to David and David says, Red Governor, where is the armor stash? And he says, armor stash on the, on the top of him. But... The big big thing that I've been looking at is the cure. He so this is the cure. How many are there? There's still one. The more, but if they are, if that one stays, they can make, recreate it. And then Dave says, "If we break the cure, what happens then?" He says, "Break the cure, no one can find it, and then I guess people will be safer because the person that they get the blood from you, David, you'll be safer, and you can live longer." Yeah, the cure, what would it do to the plants? I think we would just turn them back, but they're absolutely pretty dangerous. I mean, yeah, they, they could easily turn back. We should break the cure. The guy says, why? Him. Because if they get turned and then they get turned back again, yeah, anything can happen. Jack killed the person after he got turned. Jack, Jack, Jack doesn't know what happens in the end. 
Jack doesn't know if they can turn back or not, so we have to destroy it to make sure nothing happens like that. And then, um, Red Governor said, yeah, Matt said, oh, we could maybe use as leverage against Jack. They said, yeah, I could, guess we could. But what about Arthur? I mean, not Arthur, I mean, Charles. What about Charles? David said. And then, Matt said, well, I'll fight him. Right, they said what? They said you, you and Charles have some some sort of a connection. So I'll put him. Said I mean the Charles don't don't really know each other. I know a bit about him, but that's really it. I said okay, thanks, man. I said, yeah, good, you guys. And then I said wait a minute. Then he goes back to Daniel and um, Gabriel. There was one in for the first, and they got them. And there was one. They was looking with their guns, seeing anyone there. And lights on. Jack says, well, 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 you guys did shop. But not all of you. Daniel and Leo don't want to. Those, those said, well, you got us, so that's best you're gonna get. And my two, well, I got Daniel, I guess, but Gabriel. I don't take betrayal lightly. Okay. Rebecca, Arthur, go over, Jack said. And those went up, and Daniel said, are you good? And then Jack said, I told you guys once, okay? I don't take betrayal kindly. And then Jack pulled out his gun and then bang! Shot Gabriel right through the head. Killed him. Daniel went over, looked at Daniel, and everything went, went like everything stopped. And Daniel looked, blowed at Gabriel, fall into the ground, looked up. And then Jack says, load into them, they look at the guns, and then BANG! And that's the end of episode 7. So, I hope you guys um, enjoyed the episode. That was much more a... I prefer that episode a little more, I think that was a nice episode. Um, Gabriel got killed, which was upsetting. Red Governor joined the good side, side I guess. And the gunfire at the end, which... I don't know if any of them could die or any of them could live. I don't know what could happen. But I hope, I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Like, subscribe, and comment, comment on the bell. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you get a new video on thanks every single day. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye!